album just has energy for me. It, and it's like a truthful representation of what I am and who I am as an artist. And I think with anyone, that's the most important thing that you want to capture. It's just the representation of yourself to put out there into the world because you're the one who has to stand behind it. And yeah, I really feel like I've achieved that on this album. With this recording process, it was uh, it was quite unknown, and I I got my good friend uh, Steve Grady in to help me because he's done some production stuff. And we're just really close friends, and creatively we really we really click with ideas and whatnot. Can you see how hard he is to work with? No? Come on, let's go again. Quick. It's just impossible. Hurry up. I try to give him directions. Press the button. Awesome. Come on, go. It was really important to record in a comfortable environment. I guess, in a way, in a lot of ways, it's home. So, recording in that space, you don't have any pressure. In general, it's just it's a special place. I think it's got a really nice energy to it, and um, for creativity, I think it's, it was just a, it's a really special place. One of the mornings, I wrote a song, and then Steve, by the time Steve got there that day, I said, "Oh, I wrote the song this morning. What do you think?" And he really liked it, so we recorded it. It was pretty cool to see a song go through the whole process of uh, being written in the morning and then by the end of the day you've got a completely recorded song um, on the album and it's actually kind of, it's kind of one of my favourite songs on the album in the end. We can keep going. I think the first day we were both quite tentative as to how it was going to go and what was going to work and what wasn't going to work. And then after a few days we realised that it was going to work and it was, it was pretty exciting like, to, to hear that we could get what we envisioned in our brains and actually bring songs to life how we wanted to bring them to life in that space with just the two of us, you know. We played all the instruments between us, um, which is a really nice way to do it as well. Have another, another one underneath. Days roll back. I think there's a lot of merit to recording that way. You know, a lot of people can tend to say that you should record live with the band and you should do this and you should do that, but at the end of the day I just don't really think there should be limitations on certain things. And you should go down whatever road you have to go down. I feel like uh, we definitely did that. There was no pressure of thinking I've got to get a certain amount done for this day. It was just you, you, you did it as you did it and you created things as you created them. Yeah, some days you know you can feel you physically and mentally you're getting stuck on an idea or you, you know it's, something's not working how you think it should work. So even then you still need to escape sometimes. And being out there where I grew up, which is Woodford, which is only a small town of about 2,000 people, I think. If ever we wanted to escape, there's a lookout at the end of the road that we'd go to most afternoons and just hang out up there and spend an hour or two up there and then come back into the studio. So I I'm incredibly proud of the whole album. I think it's my best work by far.